the day the Twin Towers were attacked in 2001. I woke up this morning and I wasn't going to look at Facebook, but I decided to. And the first thing I saw was a post from a lady I'm friends with named Liz Best. Liz Best. For those of you who don't know who Liz Best is, Liz Best is Jeremy Glick's wife. And she put a post on my page, and it was Jeremy Glick's headstone. He's really buried in Shanksville, but I guess they found some place to establish a headstone. And it had some beautiful things on it. And in the picture was a guy arm with a blue jay sitting on it. And the quote she had in there was that this blue jay landed on her husband's arm while he was at the grave site today. Her husband, by the way, Mr. Best, was Jeremy Glick's best friend. And he stepped up and is helping to raise Jeremy Glick's family. Jeremy Glick, for you youngsters who don't know who he is, he was a hero on Flight 93, the plane that crashed at Shanksville that was heading to the Capitol building. Jeremy Glick was also a black belt in judo, a shodan. He was a collegiate judo champion. And when he was on that plane with Todd Beamer and several other of the, uh, the, 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 the people, they realized from talking on their cell phones what was going on, and they decided they had to do something. Just like a judo person, they decided that they needed to act. They couldn't think about it. And they said, we got to bring this plane down, and we got to take control of this plane. And Jeremy Glick is credited, along with those others, for commandeering that plane, using his judo skills to bring that plane down in a deserted field not too far from where I grew up in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. And they saved a lot of lives. But more importantly than even that, they made a statement. And the statement was, don't screw with us. You're not going to win. We're going to fight back. Gambare, judo, fall down seven times, get up eight. That's what it's about. He's a judo person, and I want to have a moment of silence for Jeremy Glick and all the people who died that day. Kutskate, Kutso. One more thing. I really relate to this guy. I've seen pictures of him when he was a kid. He had puffy, curly, Jewish guy hair like me when I used to have it. He started judo in a Jewish neighborhood. I can relate to him. He was a sales executive on a flight. He had put his judo career on hold for a little bit. He probably would have come back after he got things going. And he probably would have ended up being a sensei or a referee or a coach, just like these guys and gals up here. And he, I'm sure he would have been probably by now a fourth or a fifth Don. So when I see this guy, it really touches my heart because it could have been me or any one of us. And I would like to think that that example resonates to all judo people, that when we see it wrong, we make it right. We do the right thing, we live by the code of Kano, and that's what it's about. Thank you. Now for the rest of the remarks.